Hey guys, Spiders Minecraft back with another Minecraft Let's Play. This time we're covering mod case number seven. This one we can crone. I can't do this. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome to the Explicit Podcast. It's Jake the Kid here with Mark Cobb 55 and uh, Deodorant. And your mom. God. Dude, show me your gazers, dude. Fuck you. Okay, okay, you guys are retarded. So, what, what, what do you guys want to talk about today? Oh, well, first off, let's start with uh, Marco. How, how you doing today, bro? Dude. Pretty flippantastic. Are you saying that because you failed your backflip earlier? Dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there was someone coming. I got scared. Dude, it was so loud, bro. Was I, <laughs> I, right. I thought there was someone walking in, so I just had to do it. <laughs> what deodorant? How about you? How are you? I'm just going to drink water while I'm asking you a question. Make it, like, really loud. What the fuck is wrong with you? What's <laughs> <laughs> your question? There's a tornado coming. What's, what's your question? How, <laughs> How, how you doing today, bro? Holy oh, shit. Um, well, um, um, okay. I'm doing okay. Can you, can you not? Can you not? Dude, the teachers are coming here and rape you if you keep doing that. <laughs> dude, what's up? What's up, dude? Stop. Show me your gazes, bro. <laughs> bro, the te- I swear to God, the teacher bends you over on the piano and sticks it in you. I'm not gonna help you, dude. I'm just gonna record it. <laughs> My God, just died. <laughs> It's even that funny, man. <laughs> Alright, alright, guys. What if he was actually right there and I just stood up and just. I wouldn't be surprised if a kid was under the window and just went. There's kids out there, so they probably. I'm sure one of them saw Marco just standing up there. Really? <laughs> no one's looking at me. Alright, guys. Your mom's like, dude. <laughs> Can you stop walking back and forth? Dude, he's pacing, dude. He's looking menacing. Dude, don't go. <laughs> don't. Dude, don't. <laughs> Don't play the same way as me, dude. Yeah, just, just it looks left. menacing. Put the pick down. That nigga exit. Put the pick down. Dude, or what? Or what? Or what? Your mom. What? Got him. What? You get? You get? Dude, already you stop me? You. You get? All right. All right. Okay. Well, what's uh, sh- shout out. Topic? Shout out oh, to the, there. Shout out to the piano. Dude, what's up? Again. What's up? Sit down, me, Marco. Gazers, Marco. <laughs> it's gonna um, come in here. You know, an- another shout out to the music teacher for letting us uh, retards use his his little studio. Uh, anyways, I want to I want to ask you guys about something, uh, you know, some some family stuff. I had a question for you guys. My side hurts now. It's because you fell from your flip. Dude, there's someone <laughs> coming ahead, you. <laughs> All right, so I had a question about family. What's your guys' uh? Oh, there's no water in here, bro. What, what's your, what's your guys' opinion on family? How do you think a family oh. should run and operate? <laughs> what more, what more no, I don't feel like talking about this. Why? Because I don't know what to say. What do you mean? So I don't have anything to say. Okay, do you, do you think your family operates fine? I don't know. Do you, you, I don't you, pay like, attention. It's, you it's go there like, every day. What do you mean you don't pay attention? <laughs> it's kind of like normal. What, so what's normal to you? <sighs> Fuck you, Marco. <laughs> Deodorant. Uh, There's like another topic we can like... Your mom's ass got him. <laughs> Talk? Like this is like... I, I think I'm going to take both you and Bill out of the thumbnail. Like, you guys are <laughs> <laughs> not built for this. I haven't been here for a whole week, so. I haven't been here for a whole week either. All right, Deodorant. Well, what, what about you? you what were here you? last week. Um, you, what's your, like what, what's your ideals on family? Well, I mean, you, you got to think, you know. Speak a little bit louder for the podcast. Please. You got to think, you know, if they're there, you know, for like constantly, you know. <laughs> all right, you, bro. All right, bro. Slow your roll. Well, I mean, if they're there constantly, then, you know, it's. It's uh, I'm sorry. Um, Stop looking at me as a fucking I'm not top. Looking at me, he's playing a game, dude. I'm not playing a game, dude. <laughs> well, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, if they're there for you constantly, dude, then you wouldn't have to like. Are you playing Tetris, dude? No, dude, I'm not playing Tetris. <laughs> <laughs> he's, playing, playing, he's on that Tetris grind. Well, I mean, if they're there for you constantly, you know, that, that's a good, that's a plus, you know. You got. Stop playing Tetris. Don't, Question me. I can't take you serious when you're playing Tetris. <laughs> Dude, <he's> like, <laughs> Why are you so good at this? This is a game he plays on his free time. <laughs> yeah, it is, actually. <laughs> Alright, good. Why? He said uh, he was playing Battlefield. Well, I mean, because. But... Fuck you. Okay, so, like, um, you know, if they're there for you constantly and you got someone to rely on, you know, that that's what I consider family because. Fuck off. Um, I have one. Well, what one do you off think? Of that, I have a question. What do you. Isaac's calling. Just All right, well, then, Marco, I have a, I have a question for you. Tell him the thing. Marco, I have a question that for you. Loud. Where are you? <laughs> Why did you just, like, walk in? I have a question for you, Marco. Um, 
like your parents what do you what do you think most parents don't understand about their kids what do you mean like they don't understand yeah what do you think like they always misinterpret or do wrong as parents like just like not (laughs) I don't know cause like some of the time if you just first tell them they don't get it but you have to like explain it to them more or talk about it to more then they'll get it so I don't I don't really have an answer to that question. Why are you moving your head so much when you talk? (laughs) Your hair's jiggling, bro. I'm nervous. Um, Honestly, for me, I would say that um, most parents, like you said, they don't understand unless you explain to them. But I feel like they can't, they can't like wrap their mind around what uh, their child's going through because it's not something that they had to experience. Well... Maybe they have, but, like, yeah. it's, like, way different from when yeah. they went to school. Yeah, that's, like... It's so different now. Like, with my parents, I'm going to be honest, they've came from a, a way, a way worse upcoming than I have, you so know. They, my dad. Yeah, like, they've... Like, parents with a, a bad upcoming, you know, they always try to give their kids what they never had and stuff. But I feel like most times they, um... They lose their way of what they wanted, you know. Like, eventually, um, they let work... And they let other adults ruin their mood and they sometimes lash out on their children for that. It's like it's like every movie that goes back in time. Yeah. You're trying to prevent something, but trying to prevent something it happens. That something like, happens. Huh. I like that. I like that. Well, I'm gonna put that on a t shirt, Marco. Oh uh, you should. Yeah, you should. <laughs> Um, no, but like, I just I just feel like most parents, or not even parents, but most adults don't remember that they were kids at one point in time. Yeah. And they don't remember how they felt when they do something that their parents did to them. Which is, um, it kind of gets annoying. But I mean, as kids, we have to understand, like, especially if they come from a, they come from a rough childhood. Like, whatever they went through is why they are the way they are. Mm-hmm. Uh, one thing I'll say um, that I've experienced is that they think that just because you buy a, a kid stuff, like, I've seen it happen a lot. Like, you buy a kid stuff, like, that immediately earns their respect and, and their love, you know? Like, obviously, as a kid, you have to respect your parents. Like, even if they're doing fucked up shit, I think you have to respect their parents. But I don't, but I think it should be the same thing, vice versa, you know? Like, obviously, a parent doesn't have to bow down to their kid, but there should be a mutual respect level. And, like, you shouldn't just expect to buy something for your child and then expect a grip of respect back. I feel it. Probably like, I feel we're, like... we're probably going to get our ass beat for this one, bro. I'm going to be honest. I think my parents listen to this. <laughs> I don't even know my parents do. Oh, actually? They might. Oh, well. Uh, but. I mean, this is what happens at school. Hey, so. you know, it's a explicit podcast if they can't listen to the ideals and, you know, don't unsubscribe, just don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> need them. Subscribe. Yeah, we boys. need them. We're, we're trying to get, we're trying to get to a thousand so we can get some ads on here. Jesus Christ, my voice just went all over Dude, the place. Dude, I actually there. forgot what we were talking about. Like, parents, what, what do you think? Another question. Like, I forgot what you just, like, you said you were talking about something, but, like, Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we have the class clown. We have the class clown, Isaac. And he went to the wrong room. Five Numbers is here. That is his Instagram. Remember, everyone's social media is linked down in the description below. So make sure to go follow all of those. Subscribe to the channel and um, follow our SoundCloud account. Move your fucking leg. Mr. Oh, now Five we can't numbers, get serious, bro. We're not going to get serious, man. Podcast member. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even close the door off. right. No, you obviously can't. Look at the doorknob. All right, uh, Please tell me you can. Isaac, go ask the teacher if you can <laughs> take a, a knob. Go ask the teacher if you can get an extra chair. I'll just There's stand. a chair right there. It's right here. We got to lift it over the drum set, though, then we got to put it back. Well, he's got to do it, so. Well, I don't know what he's We're not going to get serious no more. Like, that was like. Oh. No, no, no. We, we Isaac, can't get serious no we, more. We, need you, we can joke around, Isaac, but we need you to actually uh, go along with the topics, your right? Because your mom sat on it. Mm. All right, let me adjust this so we can all talk into it. So, scoot next to Marco, you dumb bitch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> so, uh, Isaac, how how you doing, bro? Play how you feel? I played Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> we're not getting serious. I'm telling you. All right, man. Um, so we were just talking about. Oh, dude, wait, wait, wait. 
I actually almost ran over my mom. <laughs> what did you guys do? How did that happen? Do that? So like, she was gonna get out to like close the gate, mm-hmm. and I didn't realize that she opened the door. Yeah. So I put the thing in drive, <laughs> and she was like, "Oh!" <laughs> when she was getting out. Uh, all right, so we're. <laughs> Uh, right, so we were just talking about um, what uh, what parents don't don't do right raising their children, or what they can't comprehend. You know, what do you what do you have to say about that? They need to smack their kids. He's got. Yeah, yeah. I'm not even lying. You know what? I agree with that 100. percent You know, I don't think um. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, not not the ass. face. I can't take this seriously. No, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Every, after I, you fail, done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> uh, the spanking thing, yeah, I agree with that. You know, I think um, kids that don't get physically punished, like obviously not abused, but don't get um, don't get a spanking every now and then, take mm-hmm. that to their advantage. And they just, I want to say not fear their parents, but they feel like they don't have a boundary, you know, with what they can say and what they can do. Well, it's it's, it's okay. I'll, I'll fix it later. <laughs> Huh? All right. So, what about what about you, Yoda? You left before you could share your your thoughts. My wise words. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, you know, I agree with the. <laughs> Fuck the <laughs> Wait, what's going on? Your mom. <laughs> <laughs> just like, <laughs> just I, mean, yeah, like I can't take Brett to serious when he talks like norm, like when he talks real, real, real low, low, real low. <laughs> <laughs> Why is your head in your pants? Yeah, you fucking monkey. Because <laughs> I gotta Papa grab my John's? head in balls, too, so you don't slip out of my pants. <laughs> Why did your voice go so high, bitch? Because I was about to laugh. Okay, I You know, I agree with that. You know, you don't spank your kids. You, you're on the wrong side of humanity. You gotta be Papa John. Says the one Molly, grabbing his Because I'm sweating, nuts. bro. <laughs> At least I like, have a pair. Hey, I have big balls. <laughs> sure you do. Just like Thanos we, has a dick. I feel like the... He does. I've seen that. <laughs> he called himself gay. I gay. didn't even see that. He said, he's seen it. You know, make me uh, making a, a gay joke, I want to get on the topic Isaac. of um, making jokes like that. I have a know? meme for that. Isaac's mom made a joke. Shut, shut I up. have a perfect No, no, seriously, seriously. <laughs> 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 no, seriously, though, guys. We're going to lose subscribers because of these two. Seriously, though, guys. What do you guys... <laughs> what do you guys... Is this guy? What do you guys think on making inappropriate Nigga. jokes, honestly? Oh. Like, um... Like, why do you... Why do you think people aren't able to just take an inappropriate joke? Like, they know it's a joke, but they want to take it offensive. Because like, they do you, don't Like, just here or, like, everywhere. Just like in general, like people not being able to take a joke. Why do you think that is? Because it's 2019. <laughs> 2018, the well, year of no opinions. If you think about 2019, it, it, all, it, all really <laughs> it all really started with the feminist movement, if you think about it. Then oh, these random oh, guys oh. like, you know, I want a pussy too. You know, I want... <laughs> Oh. I want there to be more gender. Even gender. Can't get pussy, so I'll just become the pussy. I'm not Ooh. I'm not sure about this topic, Chief. Yeah, I don't know about this. I, don't I think, think we're going to have to, like... I don't think it was the feminist movement that started it on. No, dude, it was your mom got him. Ooh. <laughs> get out. Yeah, we're get losing out. subscribers. <laughs> get out. <laughs> we probably went get down, out. like, three just because of this. <laughs> oh, man. Um, Out of our 12. They come from my heinous humor. <gasps> Honestly, when, like, people getting offended by a joke, I just think it's... Because, you know, it's... The joke is funny when it's not about you. What? Uh, yeah, like, I don't... Hey, what's like, up, bro? Show me your gazers, dude. Like... My balls. <laughs> 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 no, but honestly, I don't, like... I think people get offended when the joke is about them. Because, you know, no one likes to get made fun of. You know, that's just... <sighs> Stop. God, dude, we cannot no, do this like, with these on. two in here. This kid, he's right. laughing for no reason. <laughs> yeah, it is, Brendan. I feel like it is. Let's get. Let's, I couldn't take no, you guys, seriously guys. when we're in here, just three of us. Guys, let's take a. Ah! Whoa, right. bro! <laughs> <He's that laughs> tremble. I do it so far. Okay, right, no, so but um, finish. I think it's like, you know, no one likes to get joked about. And I feel like when they, when people start making fun of them, their circumstances, that's why people get offended, you know? I can't say it's just... Shut up. Come on. Shut up. No, but like, um, 
Yeah, you know, no one likes to get joked about. And I think that's just the reason why no one wants to hear a joke about them. Mark, uh, I don't said, mind. You do. I was waiting for You're something like the stupid. Most, just the person that doesn't like being joked on. But, you know, like, um, <laughs> it's not just, like, people can't take jokes, like, in that circumstance. It's like, the more, the more offended they get, they start spreading. Or joke. <laughs> the more offended they get, you know, they want to spread the word about how it's wrong. And, you know, obviously, like, there's a difference between joking and bullying, you know? Like, there's, like, obviously, the inappropriate jokes, not everyone's going to take them, take them, um, not everyone's going to take them the right way. I feel know? like here, at this school, yeah, everybody's too retarded to actually know what they mean. I'll, I'll throw you in that group, Mark, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to throw you in that group. I mean, me? <laughs> what was that little me? chuckle? <laughs> honestly, I don't care. You can tell me whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, like, I don't care. Like with, with <laughs> like with um, I'm gonna be honest. I would feel like <sighs> oh man, I hate you guys so much. Fun? Why? Uh, I feel Why like your eyes open up. Shut up, let him talk, dude. Just let him. Show me talk. your gazers, man. Shut <laughs> him talk. Let the black man speak. <laughs> we're losing. We're gonna lose every single subscriber we have because of this. It's like every other Tuesday we can't be serious. Every other Monday, I mean. I think like we should we should schedule it to where he comes to one and then he. <laughs> he goes to one. We can have this in the no, same room. That's what, that's what makes it fun. One of the yeah, I know. I'm just I'm just messing with you out. guys. Um no, Shut but I'm, I I want to ask you guys. Do you think that the uh, past generation takes things more offensively than our generation? In nah, past cases, gener- Oh, never mind. That's cases, kind of like a hard question like, to answer. We, actually, yeah. Because you know we make um obviously it's not everyone. It's just I'm not throwing everyone into that that pool. But I feel like majority of the past generation takes things more offensive. Because I mean, we I'm gonna be honest, especially us, including like also Bill, this who isn't fucking here. Because fuck that guy. Anyways, uh, I would say we say some of the most offensive jokes ever. I think we're the only one that says the most offensive joke. All we do is game all night. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, Fortnite player. Honestly, I feel like... I think we... I think we say the most offensive jokes, but I think that's just because of our upbringing, you know, with who we're... No, we... We only say the most offensive jokes because we're, like, so comfortable. Like, we don't, like... No, I I, th- I think the boomers said the most offensive jokes. You gotta think back in the 1930s when they put up pop propaganda about the Japanese. You know, they drew like the fucking slits. Okay, maybe that was a little too far. No, I'm I'm not even lying. No, like, the, the propaganda, you know, yeah. back in Uncle during Tom. Great Depression and you know World War Two throughout that era, you know, they had a lot of propaganda showcasing that a typical Jap- Japanese person wore a straw hat, had very squinty yeah. eyes, was yellow. You know, they were a had a long ass dread or braid. I mean. Dread. <laughs> no, but um, I I agree with what he says. You know, uh, propaganda has been going on forever. You know, and it's always towards one person. You know, it's like it's making fun of one person to make your people look look better. You know, or your group of friends look better, which uh, which isn't right. But I would feel like the past generation gets more offended because. We didn't go through what they had to go through, you know, with the the Great Depression, with nine uh, eleven and stuff. You know, we didn't have to witness any of that stuff or go. Through. Can you guys fucking stop? I hate you guys. What are we doing? We, <laughs> we can't be in the same room with these guys. No, but like, um, honestly. <laughs> we were just chuckling. I'm so bad about that. <laughs> I have never heard you laugh like that before. Why'd y'all start laughing? <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to, once you two start laughing, I laugh at your retarded face and then his laugh just makes me laugh. <laughs> yeah, I laugh at him because he's laughing and then everybody else is laughing and then he. No, but, um, like, I feel like the past generation gets more offended because we didn't have to go through everything they went through, you know? I'll say um we've had we've had easier times. I'll say our generation's probably had the easiest time. But um it's not that we're joking around out of disrespect, it's just you know, I feel like being able to joke about something even if it was bad is a good thing, you know, cuz we're not 
we're not so stuck dwelling on it. You know, obviously the past generation can't because they lost people they loved and they've, you know, it was horrific for them to have to witness that with their own eyes. But um, I think you guys aren't going to help me out here. You guys are just going to have me talk the whole time. No, we, we want you to finish it, uh, then we'll jump in. Yeah, I don't thoughts. have anything for this content. <laughs> I, I had... I, <laughs> Oh, my ankle. Okay, well, I mean, if you, think, if you think about it, you know, our generation isn't easy in all aspects. You know, you got, I mean, there's not a lot of work that a lot of people can find easily like they did back then. You know, let, me, let me go through the script. You're just flipping through your homework. It's not that's script. Spanish. <laughs> that's, 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 that's what I typed the script in. That's, sure. There's no script. You just flip through your binder. No. Uh, bu- 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 hey, you say this, you say this, and you say this. Yeah, yeah. Right, Say so, what? You didn't give me anything. Did you not read the email? I don't have an email. Everyone has a script except... Are you kidding me? Do you want me to check through my email? Right. You, email go. you never even emailed me. I don't know what your email bro, is. Just improvise, dude. dude we got sent an email, email from to Marco. everyone, bro. I got an email from when it says, Dude, my has a banger ass. Like, what's with that? <laughs> <laughs> That's part his, of the script. Look, he, look, he's going on the script, bro. No, like, Where's your script? His does have a fat ass. It's kind of weird. Like, yeah, actually, if you Jacob's think about it, um, talking about someone's mom like that is kind of weird. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I do it jokingly, but you're, like, I don't have it right you out here talking about <laughs> sexually, and that's not. <laughs> I knew he was okay, just take this shit out. Just take this shit out. <laughs> Early, as as earlier, he <laughs> pressed the piano key, and it didn't make a sound, so I was quite relieved. <laughs> it made a sound. <laughs> okay, Jacob, you gotta do like cut this whole right, thing stop. out. Stop. Stop. No, 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 dude, for real, you're gonna get this kicked out. Stop. I'm gonna leave now. No, <laughs> Jake, just cut this all this out. <laughs> this whole keep, part, just cut it out. I think I'm gonna keep it in, chief. <laughs> no, we're gonna get, we're gonna lose everybody. I don't know. This maybe they'll laugh with us. We're legit called explicit. I mean, you gotta oh. stop. Oh, 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 oh. No, I had um. No, but for real, guys. I, I do want to know your thoughts on like why people can't take jokes. Like, I, because I they happen to them. More, okay. More detail. Okay, so like, you know, people make fun of. Mom, shut up! Shut up! <laughs> shut up! That's all he says. Just your mom, bro. Jesus Christ! Okay, get out! Get out! <laughs> I'm good. Get out! You know how they make fun of the Holocaust, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he meant that. I think he was dead serious when he said that. No, no, like I heard a little bit of a funny voice, but it's like not it was what just you full said. It's the, it's the way you moved when you said it. Like you rocked back and forth, and your hands <laughs> came up wide. Yeah, <laughs> you look like a rapper in a rap battle. <laughs> In the Holocaust, anyway. They, yeah. <laughs> yeah. anyway, so yeah. yeah, you know how they make fun of that, right? Yeah. They're mad because it, ha- it probably happened to them or, their, or their relatives, you know. Yeah. What What about you, Marco? Why do you think people can't say jokes? Why do you think they take it so offensively? Honestly, I don't even have an answer. I don't even know. I just sit there. Most because like, I sit there and look pretty. <laughs> right, the other, what do you think? What's your thoughts on this? Well, I mean, don't do that ever. Yeah, how about you shut the fuck up just for once in your life? You know, Red that'd be very Raccoon raccoon eggs. Eggs. <laughs> Okay, no, but we never said that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Why did his eyes do that? Dude, there's a girl out there. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but you know, you know, there's lots of reasons why people probably don't take. Tell, tell them the gazer. You know, it could have happened to them. You yeah. know, a family member, or they just think I'm about so you know the down. bigger picture. You know, what if that happened to them? What if I fell yeah. and just like knocked over you everything? You fell and made everything loud. Everything, and I would have kicked your fucking soul. Why is it so hot in here? Because I'm in here. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, Rick Koenigs. All right. Um. What do you Ow, think? my cut's open again. Well, well, like I've been saying, well, like I've been trying to say, yeah, it's the experiencing, you know. But uh, I did say that we have Take it. it back. I did say we have it a lot easier. Um, I mean, obviously we're not. I mean, we are in war at the moment, but it's not like we're getting drafted or it's a point where millions of people are dying. You can't get drafted anymore, can you? No, I don't think. I think you can. Well, I think you, you can. can if it's World War Three. If it's like a, <laughs> I think if, it's if more it, desperate. It, it gets to a like if it gets to a certain point, you can get drafted. I think that's how it works. Yeah, I, don't play footsies around the stool. The computer's on the stool. <laughs> you didn't see my foot? I saw your foot. Okay. <laughs> Towards the stool. Yeah. Like his foot. This is like, ooh. All right. Um, yeah, I think like with Oops, the experience. accidentally thing, broke the stool. And I mean, I, I did say that we have it easier, which we do because, you know, we're not going through any super major crisis. But I mean, it's not like our generation doesn't have problems, you know? Like, I, th- I would say, um, 
like obviously there's been bullying forever but now with um with social media i feel like bullying's just got a lot worse because you know it's not even just at school anymore you can get you can get bullied while you're at home you know just honestly here I have never seen a kid get bullied. Yeah, you really, really haven't. You haven't been. No, I mean. Why are you crying? <laughs> <laughs> no. I was trying not to laugh. No, the there, there's kids that get bullied for sure. I'm gonna be honest, because even that um that kid last year that um that came oh, here, yeah. you know, he yeah. sadly, sadly he took his life. You know, rest in peace to him and uh, well wishes to his family and stuff like that. Don't laugh at that, bro. Don't. I'm not laughing. Uh, he he's not laughing at what we're saying. He's just laughing at Isaac's face. I don't. I don't about? remember that. There is a kid that committed suicide last year from not yeah, from Marine Corps, but from UHS. UHS yeah, he got oh, I did hear about that. Yeah, you oh. know, like there's there's bullying everywhere, but most of the majority of people never see it, and majority of people because it's don't, mostly yeah. on social media. And it's yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like bullying has gotten a lot worse with social media because you can make fun of someone while they're at home or while they're somewhere they feel safe. You can do whatever you want while you're yeah. like. Like, you can be on social media, and you don't even have to be from your account. You can make a random account and just make them feel like like complete shit, and they won't even know who it is, and they can't. It's not that they can snitch you out to anyone, you know? You know, there's there's also people out there that don't even know they're bullying. They just do it because they think it's funny. Yeah, like, especially if they come from a rough home or a rough place. It's just, that's how they were raised. That's how they think everyone is, you know? And, like, bullying now and bullying, like, before is way different. Yeah. Hey, your socks like, look stupid. Like, I was like, I'm going to kill you in your sleep. <laughs> like, nowadays, it's not even just, like, it's not even just what? physical bullying, you know? It's more of a, it's not even physical bullying, you know? It's more of, like, oh. a messing up someone's Ooh. mental state, you know? Like, you don't even have to physically bully someone nowadays. You could just mess with them mentally, and it gets them a lot more. And I think that's with any anything, like... Being messed with mentally is way worse than being messed with physically. Because physically, you can get used to it. You know, you become numb to the pain. But mentally, it's like you can eventually hear voices in your head. This shit can get to a point where everything just becomes... Why are you looking at me like Because that? you said like X. Dude, you know, no, you retard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you? No. The intro? Intro? He sounded like oh, that. So. Yeah. No, you retard. No, because like... No, cause, like Stop. <laughs> You can die from but, but I Obviously, but what I'm saying is like mental torture, mental torture can affect someone way worse than physical torture, you know? Respect. <laughs> I mean, once it's mental, you know, you start seeing yourself in your eyes. You don't yeah. Think you're, you don't think you're yourself anymore. Yeah. Absolutely. Get some yeah. Breakfast. Um, do you guys, how do you, think, how do you think there's any way to, to solve that, honestly? You know, there's there's this, you know, the methods of, you know, blocking them. Hold on, Mark. For three more minutes. We're about to end right now. We just have to ah! All right, well, what do you mean blocking them? Well, it's a short one. Yeah, you know, there's... Making much noise. How do you guys... What do you think? Is there any way to solve this problem, you know? Or to help Honestly, people? this problem's going to keep going on. There's no way to solve it. There's, I mean, there's gonna be no way to solve it. I wouldn't. There's nothing. We, there's nothing we can it, really do. I wouldn't agree, agree with that. Stop. No, no, no. I wouldn't stop a, what? Bro? I wouldn't agree with that. I'm not doing anything. You know, honestly, I would, I think there's a way to stop. You know, I think um, people, kids need to get raised better. They need to get taught better. And I just feel like we all keep ourselves from each other. You know, we all for some reason we all split each other into different groups, which you know is like. You know, we're well, yeah. we're a mammal. That's that's how we are. You know, the way we separate ourselves is no different from the way other animals separate themselves. Well, yeah, that's know? true. But like, I just feel like if we're if you're gonna be if you're gonna separate yourself with a group, and if it's gonna be a good group, then you guys should like define a good have group. their backs. I, like, I just honestly, I feel like we need to stop <laughs> separating and putting people into categories. You know, yeah, I feel like yeah, that's true. I feel like the um schoolgirls. You know what? I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, girls do put more, do have the most categories, and I'm not even just saying that because oh, I'm a guy. I don't. That's what I see. I mean, no. guys have categories too. Yeah, like, but it's have, mostly like not. About, yeah, it's well, not like we may have categories it's, who we are, but we all still merge together. But you know, there's those few people uh, we stay around. Uh, the we're gonna censor that out. Uh, just a, gang. Just, <laughs> that was just a reminder for myself. 
But anyways, um, like... How about you just, like, blurred everything? Uh, but, like, girls, yeah, they do separate... Not even just girls themselves, but they separate guys into certain categories. Like, you know... That's true. This is my friend. If they're not friends with that friend, then they're not... Big facts. They have... They see, I feel like... They see guys as the nerds, the goofy ones, the sports players. And, like, obviously guys split into their categories, but, you know, every now and then we merge with each other, you know, we, we try to talk and stuff. It's, like, more than now and then. Yeah. It's, like, all the time. Yeah, and I just feel like we all need to come together, you know. Like, the most famous jock at school should be able to talk to the smartest mathlete. Literally, you know? like, and anyone. Sh- yeah, and there shouldn't, be, there shouldn't be any judgment. There shouldn't be anything about that, you know. I don't think there is. Here, at least. I mean, not that much of it. Yeah, it's like... Because I hear, like, I see, like, a bunch of, like... No, because we, um... Football players talking about We do that like, with everyone. UHS kids. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You know, I'll say that's the biggest thing. Know. I say, um, Rincon and UHS are very split apart. Like, well, obviously, yeah. people will still merge together, but I would say, like, it's like we consider each other in two different worlds, you know? Uh-huh. Especially with the, the two lunch thing. Like, I feel like Rincon's its own, like, even though we're on the same campus, Rincon's its own place and UHS is its own place. Uh, do you order, you, I see, I heard you've been trying to talk. What are, what are your thoughts? Shut up, your mom. Okay, well, I mean, you know, back to like, like I'd be nice and this guy's a fucking dick. Yeah, because he kept interrupting me. You don't deserve You never like... spoke. <laughs> you have to say... Are you mentally challenged? Yes, I took an <laughs> autism test and I got 100%. <laughs> okay, well, like, back to what Marco said, you know, when he said football players, you know, talk to other kids, it's not because, you know, we're going we're gonna to trash ass team, you know? You know, football hate, players, you know, they're, they're, ooh, they're manly. They're you're just <laughs> mentally challenged. Well, I feel like, I feel like all the cocky players, like, all, like, the ba- players yeah, that think they're the best, they all, players. like, left. What's, they what's, all left. What's funny like, the is cocky like, players come back just to be cocky. You know, you think about it, that's all they really know. And, yeah. you know, the other players, they, they don't really, like, when, when you, when the team wins a game, who do you really praise? You know, who gets praised more when you think about it? Like, more of the skilled players, yeah. yeah. You know, like the tight end, and they don't tight end, you know? like they don't pay attention receiver, to that like, whole team and stuff, you know. I you know, most of the the lineman does more of the work if you think about. Yeah, it. You know, it I'm does. not I'm not like being you know skilled players don't do any work. You know, lineman does more. With I'm a, I'm yeah, lineman. I feel work. like they do. I mean, going I was off never said, a lineman, but going like, off what you said, I would say that the center does the most work out of the well, center. Team. Yes, because he has to focus on yeah, his both. He is not even just that, but in the center is like the captain of the O line. You know, the center is able to see everything. The center has to call everything out to the O-line. They have to be able to snap the ball fast enough and get up and block their player. And on top of that, defense would have more pressure because if they don't stop the ball, they get basically shit on by everyone else. Yeah. You know, if they don't stop it, they're like, why don't you stop it? It's it's not as easy as it looks. Yes, you're pushing a guy, you know, you're just closing this or that. It's not as easy. Because, you know, my like I have a back problem. And most of that comes from having to pull someone down with me just to close a gap. He's getting personal. Your mom was personal. <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah. You know, once you drop someone, it hurts. <laughs> when no, you talk, I, your know your nose sounds like closed, like like you talk like what it, no, you talk I, like you talk like this. I, 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 I get what you're really. saying, though. No, that's my like, nose is kind of closed. Yeah, you know, I, I hear it. Oh, uh, we'll get more on the topic of bullying and stuff uh, next time. Tomorrow. Uh, He's not here tomorrow. He's not here tomorrow, sadly. Uh, if you guys want, maybe a Friday, we can. We can't do Friday. No. I guess. Only in the morning. Shut up. All right. Well, um, Every week. well, we'll talk. We'll get more on the topic of bullying. <laughs> oh my God. I feel like you did that look over and you just. <laughs> no, but stop. Dude, what's up? What's up, bro? Show me your gazes, dude. Dude. No, seriously, I'm trying to out you. Stop. My gazes. No, but um. My mom in the sewer. <laughs> Do you guys want to go get breakfast or not? Yes, okay. Hey, continue. Look, look. This was ass. <laughs> Uh, no, but okay, well, this is the end of the explicit podcast. We'll, we'll get more of this topic next week when we see you guys. You know, this has been Ollie A. Sky does Minecraft. Shut boom, up, boom, 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 okay, boom, 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 <laughs> Yo, that no, echoed like a motherfucker. Like the other one said, we'll get on the topic of bullying on the next podcast. And Do you just repeat him? He was ending. And then he said, Ollie A. and went to Minecraft. No. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, Sky here. Sh- <laughs> 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 no, but uh, thank you guys for Rest listening. Uh, if you guys got this far, we appreciate it. Uh, we understand we're joking most of the time. But uh, we appreciate it. Uh, subscribe, <laughs> like, comment, you know, sh- help us share this around. Follow the SoundCloud account if you're listening on there. And uh, all our social medias are linked down below, even Bill. 
who's not here. Fuck that guy. But uh, make sure to go follow all of, uh, all of us. Hit us up. We'll be trying to get. Whoa, this is my Christian server. Shut you up. Can't ah, say those stupid words. nigga. Chill out, dude. Relax. <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. Chill out. <laughs> Uh, we're just trying to take it it's on the first level and he's like <laughs> he's on that <laughs> alright man uh, uh, make sure to go follow all of our, our socials down below we're gonna be trying to get special guests in here um, maybe in a week or two alright Jay, we had enough talking alright guys we're sorry for that all right, we're, this is the end this is the explicit see you later part. guys explicit, maybe next time this is the explicit so podcast Minecraft out with another Minecraft mod review <laughs> Saved up the stacks, came back to build an empire. Why you stop the hustle? Living in communities for the jealousy, the hatred in the game, and I feel it's growing heavy. Living in the hood, gang supposed to be.